This is just a quick video in case you're struggling with the marble slides lines activity. Just some hints that I would like to give you. First, I want you to understand that all of the equations that we write for all of these lines are all going to be in this format. Y equals something times X plus or minus another number. So the hint here is change just one number so that we can fix this equation. So let's just focus on this last number here, one. Think about what that means. See if you can find anywhere on this whole entire thing where it would be a one. Let's start by making it even more familiar, something that we have already seen in our last activity. What if it's not adding anything at all? Or what if we're adding a plus zero? Now it's a proportional relationship. It's going through the origin. Let's go back to where we started though. Now that it's a one, where is that line? What's happened to it? What if I change that one to a two or a three? or a four, notice what's happening to that line. What if instead of adding anything at all, what if instead I subtract a number? Subtract two, subtract four. What's happening to that line as we're changing this last number here? Here's another hint and you will learn about it on the next screen if you haven't seen it already. You can always reset if you have made too many changes to your line and you just can't fix it. Click on that gear icon and click reset and it will change it back to how it was in the beginning. Now, I think just for this one single slide, we can easily change just this one number to make whatever change we need to to collect all of the stars. But what happens if I made changes here? You hopefully can recognize this number here based on our last lessons and our other activities. This is the slope. So one half multiplied by X, notice a rise of one and a run of two. Rise of one, run of two, rise of one, run of two. So what happens if we change that <clears throat> to just, instead of a fraction, what if it's just two? Notice two is the same as two over one, so that's a rise of two, run of one, rise of two, run of one, etc. And again, as we're changing this, notice how it's changing. We're changing the steepness of the line as I continue to change those numbers. You can even change the steepness of the line and make it negative by just including that negative number in front. Let's do something interesting. Let's go negative four fifths. And again, you can see we have our crosshair points going down one, two, three, four, and over one, two, three, four, five. So we are seeing that relationship between the number that's multiplied by X and the slope. With that in mind, you will see, this is the directions telling you how you can reset. You are going to see these problems get more and more and more challenging and more and more and more interesting. Again, probably on this one, we need to change a couple of things. Maybe we need to change the four. Maybe we need to change the three. Please don't make too many changes all at once. As you're learning and exploring this, change just one number at a time and see how that affects your line so that you can really make connections between what this number here means when we change it and this number, what it means when we change it you're going to start seeing challenges like this, where in addition to something multiplied by X and then plus another number, we also have this stuff here in the brackets. Let's just slowly start making changes to that number. When I changed that to a three, how did that change? What about a two? What about a one? What about a zero? Oops. And hopefully, not 10, uh, zero, hopefully you can see what that number means. Maybe if I change it to a 10, you'll really be able to see. Now it's a zero and now it's a 10. What's happening? What's inside of these brackets here tells us when that line is going to stop. So right now we're saying all of the X values that are less than 10. So here's 10. Here's all of the values that are less than 10, like zero is an X value less than 10. Negative four is an X value less than 10. And that's why we can see the line on all of the X values less than 10, but then it cuts off at 10 because these are the X values that are greater than 10. So we're not going to see that. Also notice what happens if I change this less than symbol to a greater than symbol. Notice that now we're showing all of the X values that are greater than the value 10. We're not showing any of them that are less than that, only the ones that are greater. So as you go through this, if you would like your line to stop or to cut off at a certain point or to begin at a certain point, make sure that you're paying attention to what's here in the brackets. Um, again, eventually, as you go through this exercise, you're going to see very quickly somewhere, you're going to see very, very quickly that you are going to need 
multiple lines in order to solve some of these problems. Like this one, finally made it here to slide 16. The only way to collect all of these stars is to create multiple lines, but as you create those multiple lines, we also need to have some good starting and stopping points so that the line will stop, so that the balls will be able to fall through and catch some of the other stars. So keep that in mind. As we change this number here, what is it that we're affecting? As we're changing this number here, what is it that we're affecting? And as we're changing this number here, what are we affecting? What happens if we change that inequality symbol? What are we affecting? So keep all of that in mind and that will help you be successful. The key to success for this whole activity is only change one thing at a time. Change just one thing, see how it affects what you're seeing, and then you can make other changes. Hopefully that helps on Desmos Marble Slides lines. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.